All right, guys, thanks for your patience. We now have goalkeeper J.T. Marcinkowski. Let's go ahead and jump right into questions with Jamin Moore. Hi, J.T. Apologies, I have to unmute two buttons there. Uh, thank you for joining us and taking the time. Obviously, some interesting elements, weather elements out there, you know, tonight. Uh, Matias mentioned to us, you know, the game plan, uh, you know, was somewhat affected maybe by the... Uh, Jamin, we may have uh, lost. Oh, there you are. But right now there seems to be a lot of um, concerns, I would say, about uh, about the attack and uh, some of the transitional defense tonight. What was your perspective being out there in those elements and kind of how, how did it affect everything? Yeah, sorry, I missed like the middle of that question, but I think I got the, the gist of it. Elements wise, I mean, obviously it was cold, but it's cold for both teams. Um, I don't think there is that much in it. Um, that made too much of a difference. I think the wind obviously plays a factor, but both teams have to deal with it. So I don't think that's a, you know, we shouldn't use that as an excuse or anything like that. Um, I think attacking and defending wise, I think we had really good moments in the game. Um, I think we controlled a lot of the, uh, a lot of the match uh, whether, through our possession. I think we had a good game plan going in and uh, I think we utilized that well, especially in the second half. I think in the first half we didn't finish actions as, as well as we should have. Uh, we got in some good spaces, but um, kind of fizzled out towards towards their box. And I think in the second half, especially when you know when Buddha, Nico, Will came on, I thought they provided a great spark for us. And uh, I'm really happy that they, you know, could make their debuts. Thanks, JT. Uh, Alex Morgan. Hi, JT. I want to ask about uh, the build up um, because obviously you're a part of the build up, building the ball out of the back, and have one of the best views on the field. I'm curious, you know, when you guys are, are cycling the ball back around there, uh, what outlets are you looking for? What combinations are you trying to make? Who are you trying to find? And how are you trying to work the ball forward up the field? And, and why hasn't that been working the way you might you know, want it to be working uh, in these last three games? Yeah, I mean, I think in this game especially, um, we knew that from one side to the other, they left their, their flanks exposed um, a little bit, just their, their pressure um, with, with that diamond mid midfield that they play. So I think we actually played uh, pretty well tonight with regarding that aspect. Um, I think Jan and Eric and Jackson, when he moved to the middle, uh, found the, the opposite side really well. I think in the first half, Marco had a lot, of, a lot of space to attack him and Benji. I think then that, you know, that's the next phase of it. Uh, once we get into our attacking third, once we get around their box, that's when our movements need to be a little bit sharper. And I think everybody knows that. Um, it's something that we're continuing to work on and it's something that you know, will get better as, as the season goes on. Thank you. Let's go back to Jamin. So JT, uh, regarding the uh, transitional defense, this seems to be kind of a theme three games in. Look, we all know, you know transitions are difficult to deal with and uh, it's one of the keys in, in soccer to, to having a, a solid defense. But it does seem like this team is still trying to figure out some of those situations. You were under pressure quite a bit tonight, uh, faced, I think, 12 shots. Um, and so it things uh, feel a little bit difficult sometimes through the middle on these transitions. What do you think that the team can do better to uh, take a bit of the pressure off and uh, be able to better recover out of some of those moments and not give up as quite as many shots? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think one thing that we're really focusing on is marking while attacking. Um, I think we need to... Tonight we had a good shape when, you know, when the ball's in their half, making sure that we always have an extra guy in the back. And um, obviously with, with the formation and the style that we play, we're going to be stretched a little bit. But, you know, it's just dealing with those moments. Um, I thought, to be honest, their first goal wasn't really trans – neither goal was really a transition goal tonight. Um, I think the first one we just have to do a little bit better job of covering. And um, it was a simple ball over the top from a, from a free kick that, you know, they have two big forwards up, up there. And um, – they're really difficult to deal with. And the second one I thought pretty harsh uh, against Jackson. And, uh, but that's a different topic all at hand. And yeah, I mean, I think for me, I think facing shots is something that I have to deal with. And all, all I'm trying to do is, you know, just help the team in any, any way that I can and, you know, come up with as many saves as I can. And one final question from Alex. Hi, JT, thanks for taking another question. I want to ask you about the three young debutants today. 
uh, because not so long ago, uh, you know, you were making your, your Quakes debut. Uh, so I, I'm curious what, you know, you saw from them uh, and what excited you about the way that they played tonight. Yeah, it's not even just tonight. I think it's been the past uh, few weeks. Even yesterday during our, our pregame session, uh, Will and Buddha and, and, and Nico, all three of them, had a, they were flying out there. Um, so I'm not really surprised that, you know, they got the opportunity tonight. And I think it'll be the first of many for them. Um, I think there's your head's kind of spinning. I've been there before and you come into a match and it feels like you're going 100 miles per hour. And um, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the, the pace and uh, the rhythm of the match. But um, I was really happy for them just because they work really hard. They're really good, good guys and um, they add a great element to our locker room.